Hey guys, Blake here with another video and today I'm really excited to bring you six unique tank mates for CPDs. Those of you that know me know I love my CPDs and uh, I've learned a little bit along the way. So let's jump straight into the video and find out what you can keep with these awesome little fish. So it seems appropriate to start off at my CPD tank. All these little creatures buzzing around in here are in fact celestial pearl danios. Uh, as you can see I'm quite keen on breeding them out and creating a nice little colony. So before we get started on actual tank mates I do think that's an important point to touch on because if you're going to want tank mates to bring these guys out and, and make them more sociable as you can see I can put my hand right up to the tank there and they're not too scared. I mean initially they sort of dart away but they're not really scared at all. And that is because I have so many of them in here. So first of all, if you're wanting tank mates because you never see your CPDs, I would suggest get more CPDs first. Um, they'll do a lot better in big uh, shoals and you'll find that they'll be a lot more confident. So other than that, if you want to keep things with them for the fun of keeping multiple things together, first of all, let's start off with cherry shrimp. So cherry shrimp are awesome and the good thing about CPDs are that they have pretty tiny little mouths and don't really pick off too many shrimps, even baby shrimps. I find that they work really well together and having a, a, a bottom of the food chain animal like a cherry shrimp out and about really does help to give the CPDs confidence. The other joy with this is that cherry shrimp for the most part, uh, once they're well established, you can keep them unheated so long as your area doesn't get too cold. So CPDs are pretty similar in that, uh, in that respect. So you can actually keep CPDs and shrimp together in an unheated tank uh, in most of the world. So perhaps give that a go. Uh, first one on the list is cherry shrimp. Second one on the list is also in this tank conveniently. We have here clown killie fish. So clown killies are awesome. They are nicknamed the rocket killie fish because check them out. They look like a mini little rocket. They're so cool. They stay super, super tiny and they don't really venture further down than the very top of the water column. So they're a great option because it's always good to keep fish that um, survive in multiple parts of the water column together uh, just to really fill out that tank and uh, they're just awesome little fish. So, so clown killifish being a nano fish, they're going to want small foods which is great for the CPDs. Neither one is really going to predate on the, on the other or even uh, dwell within the other one's sort of uh, turf. So I recommend keeping clown killies and CPDs together and proof is in the pointing here. You can see that it's working in my tank straight away. So um, clown killifish, another great option. Somewhere in amongst all of these fish here is uh, my third option for unique tank mates for CPDs and I'm talking about the Ember Tetra here. So this little guy here is an Ember Tetra. That's an Ember Tetra. They're going to get a nice uh, orange, orangey sort of color which is why they're called Ember Tetras. Uh, in the shop they won't look all that much until you get them home and condition them appropriately. But uh, Ember Tetras are really good and the reason I suggest these is because they stay really small so they're very peaceful again. Also, the important thing is that if you are dealing with the confidence issues that do sometimes uh, annoy people with keeping CPDs, well having another uh, shoaling fish will actually help as well because once again, if they see other fish out in the open swimming area, then they'll be more inclined to get a bit more brave and venture out there themselves. So um, another shoaling fish could be a good option and I would suggest Ember Tetras in that regard. If you're able to, another great option as a tank mate could be a pseudomegal such as this pseudomegal mellus, also known as the honey blue eyes. Um, they will be a little bit harder to find than other fish, but once again, they'll give a really nice unique point of difference in the CPD tank. Neither one's gonna bother the other, but they will both inhabit the sort of middle to top area of the aquarium, so could al always consider Pseudomegal mellus and um, if your friends come over, fair chance they've never actually seen either species before so it's always good to you know, promote fish that are not as common in the hobby and um, yeah, especially peaceful, beautiful looking 
fish such as the Pseudomogil. Uh, number four, Pseudomogil mellus, or any Pseudomogil really, so long as it's not a brackish variety such as the Cyanodorsalis. Plecos also make great tank mates for CPDs. Obviously they're mostly a bottom dollar, so they're gonna stick in a different area, different level of the aquarium than the CPD, so they're not gonna bother them. And so long as you choose a Pleco that is a vegetarian, because there are some meat-eating Plecos out there, they won't really bother each other and um, you'll just get, yeah, some really unique coloration. This, for example, here is a peppermint bristle nose. I'll show you another angle on what they look like. So that's a front-on view there. Um, as juveniles, they do have more uh, white trimming on the fins there, but they will lose that as they head into adulthood. But there are plenty of options available in terms of fancy plecos, and, and this is one of the uh, more common varieties available. So. I'd suggest um, fancy plecos, pending research can be great tank mates for CPDs. My, my personal preference would be this one, the peppermint bristle nose. And the last one on the list is the Medaka rice fish. This one here is a platinum variety, but they do come in a few different colors. Uh, they're going to be a great uh, sort of more of a top dweller, but uh, really awesome, peaceful option. Another great thing about rice fish are that once again, you can probably keep them in an unheated tank. Uh, with the CPDs, so it's going to save on having to have those things plugged in and uh, once again it'll be a really nice, unique uh, option to pair with your Celestial Peldanios. Being more of a top dweller, they're not really going to bother them too much. Another good thing is that they're not very shy, so they're going to be out in the open sort of coaxing the CPDs to be a little bit more brave as well as a result. So. I uh, definitely recommend Medaka rice fish, no matter what color you decide to go with, as a great pairing for Celestial Peldanios. So there you go guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video of six unique tank mates that you can keep with your Celestial Peldanios. Before I leave, I do just want to leave you with a few sort of rules of thumb that you can actually come up with your own tank mates as well. So what you want are things with small mouths that are going to be brave sort of schooling or shoaling fish fish that are going to be not afraid to be out in the open and as a consequence they will bring the other fish out so so things like small tetras endlers anything that is uh, renowned to come up and beg for food is a great choice just be mindful that um, you know cpds are quite small so they are vulnerable to predation and being attacked uh, they're very peaceful though so just be mindful that you're not pairing them with anything that's going to be too high on the aggression scale other than that, you'll have yourself a really awesome, beautiful fish. It's not going to bother anything and it's going to just look really nice in a planted tank. Uh, has versatility and doesn't always have to be uh, kept with a heater. So what's not to love about the uh, humble CPD? Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.